Hi, Daniel Carter, Off Leash Canine Training, Columbus, Ohio. We're doing a three day private seminar. I'm here with Janet and her four year old Wheaton Terrier, Bo. Uh, Bo's been through six weeks of training now, not with us, but uh, trying to get his reactivity under control. So, Bo gets, and it's very random, but he gets really lungy and barky on the leash. When people come in the house, he, he randomly goes and, and lunges and barks at them. Um, and you'll see some examples of that directly after the introduction here. So we really want to get that in check. Bo's uh, been kind of growling and, and nipping at the husband as well, right, Janet? Um, he, he shows a lot of anxiety when it comes to noise, uh, new strangers, pedestrians, bicycles, skateboarders, everything, right? So obviously he's got some anxieties and he's probably got a little bit of territorial aggression, probably some resource guarding. So we're going to work him through as much as we possibly can in three days. But what we're going to do right now is just kind of see where he's at with his obedience. Since he has gone through some training, we're going to see what Janet can do with him uh, right now. So go ahead, Janet. Okay. Oh, come. Sit. Oh, boy. Slow down. 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 So just walk away from him. Yeah, he's doing pretty good with the obedience. Um, so we'll go from there on that. We'll teach him some new stuff. And we're going to try to get his reactivity under control. So look forward to showing you his progress in three days. Can you call him over? Oh.
So say his name and stop. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Place. Nice. Put him in a down. Down. Good. Now just good walk. Boy. Good get, boy. Just walk around a little bit. Yeah, there you go. So just ha let him hang out in position and just walk around for a while. You can walk back this way. Keep praising him, telling him good boy when he looks at you. There you go. So release him when ready. There you go. Good buddy. Good. Good job. Now release him. Nice. Let's come back this way and actually work him with people. Just walk him by people. Just walk by, not. Say his name and stop. Perfect. Nice. Now just release him. Nice.
go ahead and release him whenever you're ready. Good boy. Yeah, he did super good with the, the young one there. Thank you. Nice. So walk up, walk about 20 feet that way and call him over there. Okay. Put down. Okay. Good sit. Good boy. And just release him when you're ready. Right. Nice. What are you guys training for? I'm done. Just to be social and good and Oh my dog is like that. He's um, I'm not good and good at all. Well, that's it. Yeah. So how would he have kind of reacted to kids a couple days ago? Um, he would have been tentative, barky, really? Lungy. Yeah. Like, I'm sure, because, you know, sometimes... Just a couple days ago? Mm -hmm. Wow. Because they, they're loud and they kind of move yeah, fast oh, yeah. sometimes. And I think it scares him, which causes him to react. That makes sense. So, yeah. But well, you now have no idea. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh. Good boy. Nice. Good job. Go ahead and release him and then we'll heal him around some more. Break. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy.
Let him hang out here for a second. There you go, great. Drop the leash and let him hang out there. here. Uh, I've tried Bo in a couple different programs, but the last one was a positive approach where you give him food a lot. And uh, the reason why we even went through that training was he was starting to become very territorial uh, when people were coming to the door. He was becoming a little bit aggressive when I would walk him outside, um, bicycles, skateboarders, roller skates, uh, a runner running by. He would pull on the leash, lunge, sometimes try to snap a little bit. Had a few incidences of him actually, uh, you know, running after a gentleman in the street and um, me having to go apologize and call him back. So I was becoming paranoid and stressed and uh, the positive approach with giving him food all the time really wasn't working and his anxiety was ramping up still. Also, anything outside, um, barking, UPS person coming to the door, any noise that he would hear that wasn't regular, he would start being running to the windows, jumping up on the door and barking continuously, and it was hard for me to pull him off. Um, when somebody would come to the front door, I, um, I couldn't contain him and he would scratch up the floors, pawing, trying to get to the door, and then when I'd open the door, he'd want to get to the people. So, and not necessarily aggressive at that point, but he wanted to be in control, and he wanted the attention, and he would, he would start licking them and doing whatever. So, it's been a long three days. We've had a three-day seminar with Daniel. Um, he's been very uh, positive and very helpful and resourceful with getting Bo um, into a, a position that I feel comfortable taking him out. We've um, just gone through a lot of hurdles. When people come to the door now, we can put him in a place and he'll stay and until we let release him. 
He's also great at healing, healing off leash and um, coming, placing him at a distance, downing him at a distance, uh, the touch command, getting him up. So um, he's been a rock star. Um, my confidence level has increased and I think the more I continue to practice, it will even get better. And um, we're just very happy that um, Bo is, is stimulated now on, in a positive level instead of a negative one and that he seems to be more confident on what's happening. So I would definitely recommend K9 Off Leash program for your dog if you have any of these problems. And Daniel has just been phenomenal and he's been very, very um, positive and, um, and very helpful. So good luck with your dog.